Hey everybody, we are back again. Amen. And we were continuing with our inner circle of faith and, and really how important that is in this time. And I'm so thankful because my inner circle of faith, these guys are rock stars. They're incredible. They're the type of people you really want to have in your very intimate, vulnerable space where you know that they know what vision is about. They know the kind of faith, the kind of cap capabilities, the kind of motivation, the kind of drive mm -hmm. you need to get the job done and vice versa. So. I think selecting the key people for your inner circle of faith is incredibly important to achieving the vision that God has given you. And it doesn't have to be in the numbers. It has to be in the quality. So you may have tons of friends, but be certain, not all of them belong to the inner circle of faith. Um, it's those one or two key individuals that really make all the difference. Absolutely. 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 Um, Buttercup. <laughs> yeah, that, that's my alter ego. Simone is my alter ego. <laughs> you know, the, the, uh, the Proverbs, Proverbs 12, verse 26 tells us that the righteous choose their friends carefully. Absolutely. That's right. the way of the leads them astray. Yeah. yeah. And we are the righteousness of Perspective should be a godly perspective. So when you, when you, even in everyday chatting, you know, or everyday, just you, you might think, oh, it's just a friend. I'm just hanging out with the person. But as you said, your ear is taking in what the person is saying. Yeah, but if they saying it from a different lens, from a worldly, yeah. carnal place, they they actually don't speak the same language as you. Absolutely. You know, have you have you found that when you speak to people, it's sometimes Yeah, and, yeah. You know, we we as children of God can be. Yeah. Um. Also, you know, we, it seems like our views and our perspectives on situations, people find it unpalatable sometimes. Yeah. It has to be that's very okay. audacious. That's okay. Can't be bold about it. Yeah, but I mean, if you think of everything that we have right now, it came with boldness. If you look at the Wright brothers, and I mentioned this the other day yeah. as well, you know, they believe that that we could fly. That's yeah. right. And everybody mocked them. That's right. And regardless of what everybody thought, you know, they succeeded. Yeah. So because of their association, they both believed it. Mm -hmm. You know, if one of them said, well, you know what, I don't think so, uh, Brother Wright. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Not today. Yeah. They would never have achieved what they were going to achieve. That's I right. believe that that's why it was so important for them to be like-minded. Yes. And, you know, it didn't matter that they were brothers, but they had to be like-minded. Yes. And, you know, it, in the Word of God, it says to not be unequally yoked. Yeah. And when you think about yoke, a lot of people say, okay, well, you know, it just means you're... The same religion. Your faith. The no, it man. doesn't. It actually means your level of vision. Yeah. Your, your level... Non-negotiables. Yeah. Because you can have somebody who is um, Christian, but who chooses not to go to church. That's right. Or who chooses not to believe that God can heal or not to believe in what the word says that you can do. So you can be a person who's very ambitious and very driven. But if you have that person's mindset next to you, talking to you all the time, you'll end up believing.
person, look at their friends, look at the person, or look at the people they're getting counsel from. Yeah. If that person is successful, if that person is 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 ambitious, if that yeah. person has a similar drive and also backs it up with faith actions, yeah. you know, then that is a good person to be with and associate yourself with. And interestingly enough, you know, when the word says that, and I'm so glad that you read the scripture because a lot of people must be thinking we're quoting something from somebody's written book. No, it's the word of God. Yeah. You know, God starts with saying that first. And a lot of people then put it into into self-help books. Yes, How that's to right. create your association yeah. and things like that. It's, it's what's it in the word, the word of God. Goes, yeah. It came from the word of God. True. And, and it's serious. So that is why even with the disciples, you know, Jesus was so... Uh, People, he deliberately went to those people That's right. yeah. and chose them because of their so their mindset. Their yeah. mindset. And some people might say, "Oh, well, this, well, that." No, but at the end of the day, Peter, within the first time that the Holy Spirit came upon him, he went out and ministered and saved uh, the souls of three thousand. Yeah, over absolutely. three thousand. Uh, yes, more than three thousand were born again. That so day. you know, even his shadow healed people. So it's, it's their association. Jesus knew the power. Even when he went to Paul, yes, yes, you know when Paul was on the uh, Saul of Tarsus, <laughs> he was on the road to Damascus, and Jesus appeared to him with the bright light, and Jesus saved his soul at that time. He knew, yeah, that Paul was instrumental, yeah, and then Paul himself chose instrumental people around him. Absolutely, you must read the word. He yes. didn't just associate himself with everybody. Yes, there were specific people like Timothy and so forth that he really yeah. associated yeah. with. And the same is for us. Yeah. We cannot afford in this time yeah. and in this day to just be reckless Absolutely. with our associations. Like, you know what? Oh, there's a party somewhere. Let me go and be friends with every single person. Yeah. No, no. I love that blog because really just it boils down to the simple. And I think that's really just critical. It's it's if you are in a place where you're trying to figure out who are these people, my inner circle of faith, my inner circle where I can really just achieve that which God has place in my heart, you need to ask yourself a list of questions. Who can I be vulnerable with? Mm. Who can I express myself mm. without any judgment yeah, and yes. vice versa? You know, refrain from having yes people around you all the that time. I want to make a decision. Yes, do that. I want to go there go there. No, you must have someone that can challenge you, challenge your thought, challenge why you're doing something so that when you align to the non-negotiables, you're back at that point where you are equally yoked. Mm, absolutely. And that is beauty. That is beauty because our God that we serve is a relational God. Yes. He's not yes. just creating and saying, I'm, I'm chilling here and that enjoying it myself. He true. wants relationships. be excited for you. Absolutely. People and that are going to cheer you on. Also, that can rebuke you in love. Yes. Ooh, people that exactly. can have others. You spoke about yes people. Yes. You know, to, to be um, part of this very small yes. circle of yeah. faith. That gives, yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, you know, I know that I trust you guys. For sure. So I can say, It's done in love. It's done in love. And it's done with emotion. And it's done through the perspective of Absolutely. the Holy Spirit and the Word of God. Absolutely. And the purpose and vision to which we are sold out for. And it really doesn't matter wherever you are in the world. I mean, most most of the year I am physically apart from my, my inner circle here. <laughs> my, my world changes. But it really doesn't matter because Absolutely. at any point... And time of the day, you can pick up the phone, you can text, you can really just have a video call and get your people together to discuss matters that are really personal. Sometimes it can't even be with your own siblings, mm -hmm. your own family members. Um, but when you have those people who you know that are aligned to your non-negotiables, your foundation, your equal yokeness, mm -hmm. so to say, 
is just really going to take it to to another level. And I think that's incredibly important for the year 2022 to have the right people around you because having the wrong people, you can have a great vision, but the people will just, you know, play, a, play an incredible part. I'm going to take an example because a lot of people say that where is the He, he changed, so, it, you know, God comes looking for him, and he say, Adam, Adam, where are you, my friend? I am trying to talk to you. <laughs> and then Adam is, like, hiding, and he's like, no, go on, I'm naked. And the first thing God says to him is, who told you? Yeah, yeah. who told yeah. you? you know, who told you? Who are you listening to that told you? Who told you that you're not good enough? Who told you that you're not good enough? Who told you that you're too fat? Who told you that you're too this, you're too that? Starts and you life can't, again. Yes, you know, who told you? And that is from your association, who you listen to. Yeah. That's right. The ones that, who told you that you can't accomplish great things absolutely you know who told you that you're not good enough to succeed in a place where other people have failed mm -hmm. then i'm going to use an example of elon musk because you know other people fail to do a lot of things that he's done yeah and he never listened in fact one of the things that he said was he was uh, he applied to some tech company and he was there in the lobby and he was waiting for them and so forth and then yeah. he, they didn't get back to him he realized he had to open his own company yeah like, you see so who told you that you can't? Absolutely. You know, don't be with a group of friends who just believe that being employed is all that they would ever do. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> That's true because then you'll always be employed. That's so true. That's so true. And, and you know, what, one of the things, again, going back to the, the Pastor Chris and the vision he had for 2021, the year of preparation, was when he heard or saw the angels really just preparing God's people. Mm -hmm. What was really key there was that he said they did not allow the distractions to yeah. move. Mm. Distractions will come. Right. Challenges will come. You know, you're going to hear words that you don't want to hear. Experience. Yeah. We have applied this blueprint into our lives, not just in 2021, but for a long time now. And we, we really are here to testify. And in the year of 2022, you're going to see and hear more of us <laughs> on this platform. Starting midnight tonight. Amen. Starting midnight tonight. So as we, as we round up our, our very first live today, I want to just ask you guys, what are your final thoughts for Reflections 2021 and our expectations for 2020? You can go first, Lost. I see you shine. <laughs> I think that's, that's the thing. I think be prepared to do, to accomplish great things. See yourself in a place, uh, posi positioned for greatness. You are positioned, positioned for greatness. Position. You are, and don't let anything stop you. Don't, you know, don't, if, even if you didn't have parents, even if you yeah. were an orphan, even if you were, uh, left uh, alone, um, by your parents, maybe they didn't want you, maybe, they, they want you, but they're not with you. Yeah. You know, don't let that stop you because the Holy Spirit is in you. That's right. That's right. And he, the word says he, he will never leave you, nor forsake you. So never. you constantly got this inner support. Yeah. So you can do great things. Just allow yourself to, to let the Holy Spirit minister, mm. minister the great things that you can do. In so you. good. That's right. So yeah. good. That, that's powerful. That's powerful. And, yeah, for me, our, what I'd like to just encourage everyone that's watching is as we're approaching 2022, be sold out for the gospel. Yeah, yeah. come on. Desire more. Yeah. To, for, don't desire to fulfill your dreams. Yeah. But rather focus on saying, Lord, let me fulfill mm -hmm. your dreams. Hallelujah. That's what I'd like to encourage you because what we've learned is that um, the greater, the, the lesser is included in the greater. Yeah. So when we have that greater purpose and desire, all the other things are already included. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. And I've also just, you know, because we were talking about associations, I'd like to just encourage you. There are a lot of
to share with you guys a quick uh, a quick story about outward expression. So last night we were at dinner. Hashtag we love good food. Um, and so it was someone was celebrating their birthday. Someone we um, don't know. And it was someone we don't know. And it was a beautiful display, rose gold, amazing looking cake. Uh, oh, a party of probably like 20 people. Yeah. Mm. And we had just finished dinner and we, we kept looking back at them and saying, okay, you know, we should go and wish, um, wish her a happy birthday. And then we were like just saying, okay, should we, shouldn't we not? And then eventually at the end, we had a, a bunch of our other friends with us also. We just went up and we sang happy birthday to this complete stranger. Yes, we did. Shut down the restaurant. Yeah. Everybody had on their phone. Yeah. And we really didn't prepare for it. We just said, you know what, we want to just outwardly express yeah. some love, some joy. It was New Year's Eve Eve. And and say happy birthday or you can but whatever it is that moves you to just show someone the expression yes. of love bless go them. ahead words. and bless them bless them i mean even one of our friends who was leading the birthday song he just prosperity and wisdom and kindness and a whole bunch of beautiful things and that's how we use our creative space to Amen. bless you know even the most random of occurrences in our day we really take a hold of it to say we want to have fun with it and we want to just take ownership of it so in concluding today we would just want to thank every one of you who has tuned in live and for those who are going to catch this a little bit later across the world i hope that EP launch for Amen. 2021. You know, it was something that we never thought we would do, but the Holy Spirit instructs and we just really follow through the course. But tonight, tonight at midnight, all right, that's midnight tonight, wherever you are, uh, specifically in the South African GMT time, time zone, we have the next single dropping this evening on every streaming platform. So if you have YouTube Music or you're on Apple, Spotify, and on our subscriber list. So if you're not subscribed to us, just follow us on YouTube and you'll be able to us so much we've, we've got a preview of it it is incredible it is our crossover song for the new year it is going to teleport you into the holies of holies as you really cross over from a beautiful 21 2021 into 2020 in an attitude of worship absolutely Amen. so make sure you set your notifications uh, share our videos if they're inspired you today share the page and we will catch you sometime next week different city different time zone but we'll be back take care Care, and God bless. Bless you. God bless you. Yeah. <laughs>